Hello and Hi. welcome back. We are back with another episode of the Midnight, Midnight Girls. Girls. It's now 2020. 2020. I bet you're wondering where we've been. I know. We've yeah. been hiding. Yeah. No, oh, you've been Eating doing a lot, drinking a lot, <laughs> not knowing what day it is. I don't know yeah. what day it is right now. But we've got another amazing show. We want to first of all wish everybody a happy new year. Yeah. And hope everyone's had a lovely Christmas and everyone's feeling full of yeah. wine and mince pies and, and little mini sausages. Yeah, get yeah. back to it. But on that topic, that is why our today's topic is New Year Resolution. New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. So we've got um, a lot of info from our polls again. Yeah. Thanks again for getting involved. I know, it's the first time I've done some polls too. So Yeah, really Chip's getting in the mix now. I know. Stepping up again. Yeah, and I got dead excited. I've been obsessed, actually, a little bit obsessed because I was a bit like, is anyone else? Like, <laughs> you have to excuse us as well because we're sick. Oh, yeah. So, sick. We, we, we are okay. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's just uh, playing with the other angels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you call it. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we always open up with what we've been up to. So let's start with what the hell you've been up to. What girl? the hell? What the hell? I've literally been up to? just been non-stop drinking. Does anyone? I had like two full, well, sixteen days, in matter of fact, off work. I only went back That's in on the, the life. I literally <laughs> only went back in on the Monday. I feel like I've had such a like. Everything's just merged into one, but back it was to reality. Yeah, now. yeah, it's back to reality now. Back, They're to, both. Back, back to life. Yeah. Back to life. But it's been fun. It's it has. been great. Yeah. yeah. I actually, um, I've had an amazing Christmas and New Year this year. I actually got I so drunk I lost my phone. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> we got so we got it back. Me. So thank you to I the know. people of Liverpool returning. Oh, there are home. some nice people. Yeah, so it was nice. it. We um, you had a, you had one of those password locks, so it's like, what's the point? Yeah. just give it in. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So we're gonna kick it off with what we think of our New Year's resolutions. Have you got any New Year's resolutions? No, I normally I'm like oh, I'll do some, but knowing <laughs> myself, I'm getting older now. I'm just like. Why are you didn't bother them? Because you know that you won't keep to them. Why are you giving up all life, girl? No, I'll just, I'll just, in my head, I'll just be like, I want to change these, but not necessarily give myself a target to hit by, because then I'll be like, oh, I haven't done it by then. So I've yeah. got, I've got like some resolutions, but they're not like okay. by this date. Well, that's good. I, that's I'm doing a um, goal and intention workshop. Yeah, and part of part of my workshop is like the guilt that you carry when you don't fulfil. Exactly. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. Yeah. Because then I won't do it. Yeah. And it's like you carry this bag of guilt around, and you're like, oh, well, I didn't do that, so I'll never be able to do that. But it's yeah. just like, let it go, let yeah. it go, and then you know, let's say something new. So, what are you like loose resolutions then? What have you got? <laughs> But not to be so loose. I know, yeah. yeah. Um, Excuse me. <coughs> well, just to like think more, like no, no, I can't cope because that just reminds me of Kylie Jenner's one from ages ago, where she was like, "I think 2019 is about realizing things, <laughs> <laughs> but not even anything. 2020 is about thinking. I'm just gonna think. I'm gonna think. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna." Well, what you thinking more. about? What's going on in there? Yeah, no, yeah. think more like pro progressively. Is that what it's called? Because sometimes I like procrastinate a lot. Like you know, when I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I will do that. I will do that. I never actually do it. But twenty twenty is about doing things, getting them done. Is got a massive energetic shift as well. Mm. So there's a lot of people coming into themselves and letting a lot of their nineteen baggage stay in the past. So yeah, keep it there. Keep I just think boom. hit weather, strike while the iron's hot. I like that. That's, that, that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> because sometimes I'll just be like, yeah, oh well, that sounds good. I'll do it. I will do that, and then I never or I will do it, but like ages, and then the, the thing's gone. Mm. Or I'll, or I'll go. I wish I'd done that like earlier. Mm. So I'm gonna start doing that. Start earlier. doing things earlier. What others? <laughs> Any others? Um, just better with me fit. A lot of people have this one, but better with me fitness and eating. Better. B better eating, cause my eating lately, I've had no like appetite or nothing. 
Uh, opposite to me, I've took it. I've took it out of the tank because I'm just like, I'm looking at that mic and that what, looks like a burnt sausage, so I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> yeah, and then with that comes like fatigue and no energy, and then that all stems on and yeah. goes off. So I'm going to start eating better as well. Okay. 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 <laughs> My resolution, well, I believe in setting not just resolutions, but goals and intentions. Mm. So, I think like yours are quite loose, whereas I like to have like tangible goals. Yeah, you're so, like, I want to lose one stone by this date, and if I don't, I'm gonna guilt trip myself and go cry into a mince pie. But <coughs> I like to like set myself little things to do. So mm. last year, did you set any last year that you achieved? No. I can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> even remember. That's the funniest thing. That's probably why. Like. Nobody remembers See, anything out of February. Know I am a loser were. then because I have a goal board. This is Ooh, how much of a loser board. I am. I have a goal board and I usually set myself about eight goals that I can spread across the year. And I, I put them on and I have them on a whiteboard. And I put them at the near my bed and I look at them every day and you know whatever yeah so like last year on mine was to do Miss Universe GB and which you did yeah one. and I came in at top five yeah. so that was a good good one Um, to start kickboxing which I did and now and you're what a yellow belt now advanced yellow belt oh wow <laughs> let me make that clear <laughs> I did my last What's the difference? Oh, it's a different assessment. I had to do another assessment for it. Oh, right. And my next one is green belt covered up in February. Um, I, I had loads of different goals. What about what about the flying the airplane thing? Was that a the goal? The flying the airplane was well, it was a goal. Wing walking. It was at, the wing walking was a goal which I did, but starting to fly planes was a goal the year before. So I started it. Um, but to be honest with you, I put that on the back burner because my goals this year is just launched my very first business. Well, yeah. not my very first, I've had loads of little tiny businesses. But, but this one's like... This is a little passion big. of mine that I've had forever. How happy you are! <laughs> Honestly. So I'm, I'm like working on that and I've, I set myself a goal to do my first like public speaking workshop. So I'm doing that in, in um, January. January. And that's on goal and intention setting. And I literally thought I was going to have five people and 50 people. I know, she got sad to be going, ah, another five. <laughs> I can not believe it. I literally thought it was going to be me, Chip, me, other best mate, Sam, and me, Mum. <laughs> We're all like that. <laughs> but no, you've done so well. And like, you've t nearly sold out tickets. I've sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out, girl. Tickets are gone. Tickets are gone. And there's still people that want to go. Yeah, people are still messaging me. Like, it's not available on event by book. Can you do it? Because it's a free event, but I've got me like my little business that I'm launching. But I think like, as well, because it's January, everyone's in the goal setting and wanting yeah. to kind of change things up this year. Yeah. Um, that's why it's absolutely gone. Yeah, and that's why I was interested in people do they keep up with the resolutions because yeah. I think there's a theory why people don't stick to them. Mm. And it's because you just thought you said. They're not like tangible, you're not like giving yourself little incentives yeah. to reward yourself. You, you might can. be unrealistic with them a little bit then. Yeah. Um, because people's some people's <gasps> I'm um, gonna, resolutions are a bit like whoa. I'm gonna share a, a resolution. Well, it wasn't a resolution because it was the middle of the year, but this sort of that was like a bad goal and a resolution went wrong. Basically, <laughs> this is why I'm so anal about making goals tangible now. So when I was doing Miss Universe and oh no, Miss GB the year before, I had a picture of myself, right, and. I was dead skinny on the picture and I was all like, yeah, that's how I want to look. I didn't know how much I weighed. At the time, I was a little pudding and I was just like, yeah, if I'm not like that, then I'm not going to be happy. But that's all I had to the goal. But then when I got to the event, I looked not like my picture. And so I was, was immediately, you were like... I felt like, it. I felt like a thousand times bigger than I was and actually wasn't that bad because now looking back, I'm like, God, I wish I was that <laughs> fat now. <laughs> <laughs> because me, what is leading me to me to my third goal, which is just to get back into the gym. Honest to God, so my tangible goal is to be under ten stone because I'm not gonna reveal my weight because I'm not gonna have a nervous breakdown right now. But what about the kung fu and stuff? The, isn't that the gym? Yeah, well that's part of it. But well, the thing for me is, I eat. <laughs> Um, I, well, I actually I can't say because she swears. 
which is the fat, you know, the fat lady. And she's like, I'm just a greedy I'm a big fat. greedy fat. Mm. Yeah, what do you say that? So it makes me laugh. <laughs> but that's me at the minute because I had a rough couple of months and I took it a pound at the fridge and just eat. So it's a little bit obvious, you know, I'm not, there's no point lying. No, about honest it. to God, you over exaggerate. No, I've got a minute. I tried to get my work pants on and they wouldn't go past me knee. So let's mm. not. Let's not kid ourselves. Right. So that's my goal to, to do that and well, that's why that's what I mean. Like if I was to set a goal I'd have to have little mini goals yeah. in between just to be like able to do it. Otherwise if I don't see immediate like progression I'll be like yeah. uh see so ya. Yeah. Well that's the the, the way I've tried interest. to do it with that mm. is um I usually have a cake every day from a little shop by my work and I've said I'm not going in anymore. I'm your little girl, so I was like, no, how? <laughs> you know, but they're gonna go on the little cake. Well, one of my little goals is to have a little cake on the <laughs> way home, so nobody can see me do it. <laughs> no, but they're gonna, their business is gonna go under now because the customer isn't coming in anymore. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that. <coughs> me, I'll pack my own, my own dinners. So I did that this week, and I, 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 I so far haven't delivered. So, <laughs> so far, so good, guys. So far, so well good. done. Yeah. yeah, and it is what date is it? It is the eighth of yeah. January. Yeah. To be yeah. fair, Christmas didn't start. Um, New Year didn't start till the sixth. Let's be totally honest. The Monday, this everyone. Is, uh, yeah, because. So this I is what the that. problem I think is with resolutions is because when people stick to okay, New Year I'm gonna do this. New Year I'm gonna do that. Then they go, oh, you know, it's actually it's only like the. Yeah. <laughs> you so can't tomorrow. Start a goal on a Sunday. Only, yeah, <laughs> you can't start a goal on a Sunday. <laughs> Sunday was made for roast potatoes. Uh, yeah, Jesus that is Nan big. will be so upset that I'm not going to eat yeah. that big meal she just made for me. Exactly. No, that is true. It is very it is. true. But I think 2020 started on the 6th of January for me this year. <laughs> Don't judge me. Stop judging me. But I think um, most people still. But if it's going to help, yeah, I think, well, then that's fine. I just. I, I haven't got any like qualms about people doing resolutions. Actually, at you have. Me, yeah. Well, all right. So there's there's resolution and there's goals. So we've established a fair different things. Mm. So people set resolutions and some people set goals. I mm. think I more set goals. Yeah. You set goals. Yeah. You set loads of goals. <laughs> but resolutions, because yeah. you do them at New Year, I don't think I do. I just have them mm. there. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say there's resolutions and revolutions. No. <laughs> yeah, what about you, Charlie? Revolution. Well, you, resolution? you know, I mean, like, uh, I put on a, one of those Bitmoji because I'm loving the Bitmoji thing. Uh, like, um, Bitmoji? Bitmoji. I have a Bitmoji. Yeah, you don't uh, follow me on Facebook, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, um, my, my goal is to kick the gates open, you know, wide, run right through, and then anybody wants to follow me. Follow Who's through. gates are you kicking yeah. open? Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's not enough today. information here. <laughs> today, just anyone's gates. No, today gate. The gate of today, meaning like it's 2020, I'm going so to do things act differently. Oh, okay. yeah. Do you just mean, gonna smash it. I wasn't going to kick open somebody's okay. house. But, <laughs> <laughs> we were like, who's gates? Who's coming with you? <laughs> where, where you going? Who's going to rob this house? Like, who went, where, when, no, I mean, <laughs> no, it's belief, you know, I mean, like, the, the, I think the best thing about resolutions is, is that what everybody has in common is, is that there's a belief that I'm going to do things differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at least I think that's the thing that people really stem hard to stick to. And if you open up, like, once New Year's happened, you know, dang, 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 it's New Year's, I put that out because I was just kind of like, yeah, man, that's my motivation is yeah. kick the gate and then go through. So it's nothing specific about how or what you're going to do, but it's just the outlook that you give for yourself. Yeah, mm, I agree with that. You know yeah. what I mean? That's new mind, the, new outlook. <clears throat> there we go. That's my resolution. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I came up with it first. And I think after Christmas, <laughs> everyone's come, up, come and like from a big high or a big low because Christmas is like it was bad intense, Christmas this year yeah it's an intense time of year for everybody isn't it, it? Is. you either really love it or you really loathe it so yeah. mm. people's emotions are already running high so you you've got that you've got that fresh light type mm. of thing like I'm gonna make things different next Christmas is not gonna be like this I think it's a bit mm. like a for me it's a bit like a holiday blues you know when you go there we to go. Yeah. holiday and then you come back and you're like did you have oh. holiday blues 
I had serious Christmas yeah. holiday blues. That's I why you didn't mention anything particular. I get it. Yeah, because <laughs> I love Christmas. I absolutely love all the build up. Me brother comes home. Everyone comes home yeah. that you love. Everyone's around you that you love, and um, everyone's in high spirits. Yeah. That are all happy and whatever, and then literally January comes and everyone's in depressed mood. See, I'm not because I just think, hey, listen, the last two months of 2020 <coughs> was like a big heart kick in the balls mm. because it was just one thing after another for me. So when New Year came for me, I was like, like, Father, you were like, <laughs> I was like, fresh new start, and yeah. I was just made up with it all. So like me, yeah, you want to just keep yeah. the doors open and just go, you know, run right through. Yeah. You know, and I, and I think that that's the main thing for everyone. It's like, but the, that that whole lowdown of like, you know, oh, this kind of thing. I think a lot of people put too much expectation on this time of year. Mm. Do you know this what? time of year, I was really kind of like, look, man, it's just a day. It is just a day, and at the end of the day, it's a money making day. I know, I see. Oh, it. consumer, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Right. This broke my heart because there's 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 so many like food banks and charities now. Mm -hmm. There's specific charities for people who couldn't afford to buy gifts for the kids, and the parents are under that much pressure that it, they're becoming ill because the kids yeah. are like, I want this, and you know I'm gonna feel left out and all that. I was just like, oh my god, so do you want to know a little uh, thing that I did this year? Oh, so yeah. I finished with my boyfriend. He's Oh no! Off with his head! Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's been <made> a <laughs> <laughs> trash can. Okay. Um, but what I did instead of taking his present, like giving him his presents or whatever, I kept the, the I took the presents and then I took them back, uh -huh. got the money, and then give it both kids toys and give it to a kids charity because uh -huh. I thought at least someone's That's getting it. some joy out of it. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. And you've not kept things that are going to remind you of them. So. Yeah, no, 2020, new me, new mindset. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> but yeah, so. So yeah. So That's nice. New Year. Is it? <laughs> it is. It was lovely. It is. It's so nice. Having a lovely time. Having a lovely time. Yeah, having a lovely Christmas time. No, Paul McCartney, you will not get any money from us. <laughs> To be fair as well, we had a lovely new year because we went to the Lake District We together. had the most amazing, because normally new year, new year's eve for me is out mm. on the time, but getting dolled up, whatever. Yeah. I, I usually go, I love London at new year. Mm. Yeah, it was very glam, like new year, new year's eve, whatever, but this time we just oh, went we just to the lakes. All right, all right, here's the question, caravan or lodge? Bungalow. It was a bungalow. Bungalow. Oh, same thing, yeah. Bungalow. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, um, it was Sophie's nan's. You know, Sophie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sophie's nan's. She came with us as well with the baby. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, right. She gets a little girl. She's been doing a lot of traveling. Yeah. Okay. She's anyway. been getting out there, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But we uh, we went as a little girl gang. We did our little, and we did a little ritual. Ritual. Yeah, that oh, little New brilliant. Year ritual. What's that? Well, I do it every year because. Which is Smothered something over me, and I was a like, "A sage smudged her." There you go. Oh, sage! You yeah. know, let's let's make no, it clear. No, I, I was really. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Whoa! I did not smother. Not the. I, I did, did not, not have rub that over you. I had. <laughs> it, was, it was sage, Mister <laughs> Clay. It was sage. But seriously, smothered probably was the wrong word. I didn't a little smother. bit. She's still alive. I didn't smother anybody. Please don't make me go. Especially when you did the movement. Yeah. Kind of but no, we do this little ritual where we. Um, it's like a native. Well, I don't know if it's native American, but my ninny was native American. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll go back there to our tribe days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but my nanny taught me how to do this so basically we write on a piece of paper the things that you want to leave in 2000 and whatever oh. and on one side you bury it well yeah well yeah get let me get a little oh, i'm sorry i, I jumped he's too excited the end of the he's like <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hear you i hear you i need to get I, I hear you my sister i hear you my sister he's like, whoa. Yeah. So, and then on the same piece of paper on the other side, or not on the opposite side, next to it, you write the things that you want to bring. So then you rip it down the middle, you set fire to the things that you want to leave in 2019 yeah. in our case, and then the things that you want, you have to bury like a seed. So it wow. Yeah. Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. It really mm. was nice. Oh, you did it too? 
Oh yeah. Oh, wait, I did it with them all. Like I did the guided tech meditation stuff, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, nice. I had my first like meditation. You know what? Though it's, oh, it's really kind of like a sweat lodge meditation. Nothing. Did you do like a sweat lodge meditation? I mean, do we I mean, want to know what that is? Because this is PG. Oh, well, we're both naked, <laughs> girl. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? I was sweating. Sweat. I went in no time. What you thinking? I'm saying. I'm You can hear me. Did what? you not say sweat lunch? I did say sweat lunch. I wish holiday home. Thanks, while. thanks. I got a list. <laughs> thanks for pointing out. Uh, I, did say, holiday home while, yeah. <laughs> I did say sweat lunch. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Chase has what a list. What can I think of? <laughs> I did so a pussy cat. I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what pasta. Oh god. Um, so anyway. you wanna say what a sweat lodge is or yes. you don't? <laughs> no, no, so a sweat lodge is you if you did the deep meditation and you use the sage and all that kind of stuff. It's like if you're in an enclosed room and you have a fire and everything and you in that room like the three of you or whatever and you just sweat and meditate and you have like a vision quest and stuff oh, yeah. where you A little bit, yeah. Yeah, but, but then, you know, like, where you get your spirit animal and everything else like that. But, like, you can't be in it for too long, so people come out, you know, like, hey, need that whoosh, baby cold water, water or whatever and all that kind of stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we def hope, def hope. But, so was, that's a sweat lodge like, meditation, yeah. Yeah, it was just, we did, like, a, it was a high energy meditation, wasn't it? Yeah. Removing. But I felt it was really hard, because obviously it was my first time meditating. It was really hard to think of nothing. <gasps> that's the whole point, though. It's, you, it's not you. You're not in control. Tell him, mate. Yeah. So you have to do your best to empty your mind, and whatever comes into your mind comes from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? So it, it shouldn't be, I'm going to think about shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, shit, I'm going shit. to myself, think about nothing. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling myself nothing. I'm How do I empty my you. mind? <laughs> no, I was literally like, stop saying think of nothing. I'm trying to think yeah, of nothing. Yeah, she should stop saying like, think right of nothing. Now. I'll remember myself and I was like, oh no. Yes. This is hard. But to be fair, we did, we will, the one that we did was we put a, um, a fire meditation, so. Yeah, so you use fire, yeah. No, no, we didn't actually use a fire. Oh. This was like, I was saying, it was like, um, I don't really know whether we should go into this. Yeah. <laughs> Basically just like where the parts of your um, spiritual being has been hurt, set it on fire and let it go. Yeah. Oh, in your mind set it on fire, not actually set your mind. body Guys, on fire. Guys, don't you got to be careful, huh? Yeah. You're freaking. No, no, don't set yourself on fire. <laughs> 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 You're not going to be... I'm going to hurt. Set yourself on fire. You girls are dangerous. No. <laughs> Visualizing the <laughs> fire is definitely not that. And then soothing it with a nice balm. You know, it was just, it was just nice. <laughs> That's the way it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No children were hurting and making up there. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, back to our New Year's resolutions. Yeah. We're on a little bit off track there. It's good. Cool. Yeah. But a bit more steep here with us. I know. It's been a, it's it's been a while. Yeah. So we did our um, polls. I know I done some as well. And let me just get them up. I'm so made up that people actually took the time though. Isn't it good? Like it's we, we really like you've got a bit more well you've got a lot more followers than me but I was thinking man just gonna no, be No like, but my engagement's rubbish at the minute. I'm like on a shadow block or something. Um okay so we kicked it off <coughs> with do you make New Year's resolutions? Yeah so well, that's only different. So yes, because that's what I mean. Um, so mine was 60% said yes and 40 said no. Oh, 60, 40, oh my God. Mine was 52 for yes, 48 for no. Give it in round, yeah. Mm, similar. Do you stick to them? Do you stick to them? I think we were already saying how most people don't. Yeah, mine said no. <laughs> like if they 65% even stuck them. <laughs> said no on mine. 64% said no on mine. So you being honest. But let me see the type of people that have said yeah. Because I'm going to be like, let me see. Hang on. Of course. Mm. Yeah. Mine. Oh. People are saying like how a lot of lads are saying of course on mine. A lot of girls are saying of, of course on mine. So how how long do you stick them out? So we add until I meet my goal, end of January or end of Feb or summer. Mm. So yeah. what? So mine mine twenty four, um well twenty four people said until I meet my goal, 
and then the rest were just like four people said end of January, end mm -hmm. of February, end of summer. Most it's people so said it's so like the goals. Goal, so yeah. well done guys. Let well us done. know what your goals are and what ones you've achieved because yeah. we want to know. Yeah. Well they don't need to start it though, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and maybe they can tell us last year's one. Mm. Well, there was, I, I, I hold my hands up there, I set myself a lot of goals, but sometimes I don't meet them and they feel shit. Yeah. Uh, but then you meet a little one and it builds you back up. So in the chat, please like, let them you know, put, say what you're Yeah, about. yeah. <coughs> we're going to ask. Well, That's, I think I've asked, I've asked what, if there's any goals, um, what your resolutions are, and I've said I wouldn't judge, but... Yeah, I thought you would. <laughs> Joking. Um, so, what's your main focus? So, is it making shmula, show me their money, making or money. getting fit, getting a new job, or stopping smoking? I know someone. A couple of people have said stop smoking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like because um, smoking's gone a bit mad, hasn't it? Because, like, people are class on when they go. Smoking, though. And when you go out, everyone's outside smoking and then they're just mm. going to smoke, like social smokers. Social smokers. And people don't really want to do that, do they, Sam? A lot no, of but do you class vaping as smoking? Well, you can get 0% nicotine for vapes, can't you? And then you can get the CBD oil ones. So, because, mm. yeah, okay. Um, so, most people say getting fit, but followed by getting money. No, mine was all make, make money. Make, make money, 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 is one for you because usually so every January when I was in uni and last year I used to give up social media and give up meat for the whole of January because I go wild on the pigs in blankets okay you can judge me if you want but who doesn't, um, doesn't? I was thinking that who doesn't but honestly God, I must eat like a small farm in December so I usually just I know but I was being vegan vegetarian in the whole of December so I didn't re apart from Christmas so I didn't really um I didn't really eat that much meat. But but I made up for on Christmas day with forty chickens and all that. <laughs> turkeys. Um but the, usually I give it up for January but this year I didn't because I'm trying to lose weight and uh, no. um but I asked <laughs> Choke, choke, choke. Um, I asked people if they'd given up alcohol because I was gonna. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna. No, I'm not. I'm not. No way. Because January is the worst depression mood month for me. I so know. I am not gonna make it even worse by not drinking. To be fair, New Year's Day we were out and we were shit faced. So <laughs> that's when I lost my phone. So clearly we that didn't really start. Yeah. And we then really that bad. night, I, I was still shaking. And my mum was like, "Yeah, I have a cure. I have a glass of wine. Would you take?" And I was like, "Okay then." Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, that didn't go. And a, a few people are saying yeah, but a fair few people are saying they're giving her up for the whole year. Oh, what? I got four people that said not hats, just January. Hats but, off. But absolutely not. Was twenty eight, and yes, was twenty one. So. A bit of mix, but mix. dry January. A little mixture. So then I asked, them, "Does anyone do veganary?" Veganary. Yeah. Like so going vegan for just a just month. For yeah, just for January. Just for January. So it's like January. My followers like and I'm not at that. My followers are like, nope. Eighty percent said no way. <laughs> yeah. My followers are like, I love the meat. Eighty-six percent said that as well to me. So it's like meat, the fair people. But to be fair, a lot of people <laughs> with all this stuff that's going on with the in Australia. And the burning animals and stuff. Oh, the fire! Oh, yeah, the yeah, fires. Yeah. And I was talking about that, but if people are starting to be like, well, you know, I think I should stop eating meat because you know that's contributed to the climate change, which has started most of those fires. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you start delving in, then you won't want to eat yeah. anything. Then you won't be eating a little <laughs> chicken on your plate, will you? Anyway, mm. so then we said, what are your resolutions? And everybody's just got quite That's similar good. resolutions of like, going to the gym more, eating less meat, yeah. not drinking alcohol. Take more, so I've got like, take more time for self-love and care and meditation. Then I've got someone saying to help many people as I can and look zen doing it. Someone said new career. Yeah, a lot of people said new career. Become more healthy. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. 
I've got I've got a comedian here. Stop biting my toenails. Oh, me too. Mm, stop biting my toenails. <laughs> oh, I thought your toenails. All right, yeah. Ew! <laughs> ew, ew. No, it I hear things so Put wrong. Down on a lot these. of people were saying they've got business goals. I think that's a really good one because they're tangible. It's going to a good thing, and 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 again, fair few people are saying about social media. Really? Get on social media for Read a little bit. Books. Everybody yeah. needs a little digital detox every so often. Well, yeah, and honest to God, you know, the fit, when I used to have no social media in January, the, I'm not going to lie, the first like, week I'd be like, who's liking my pictures, man? Whoa. <laughs> I just I mean, mean, like, what's people doing? Like, yeah. you're just out of sorts, like, you don't know what people are doing or, like, what's going on in the We're world. We're a generation of need to know. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I mean, but it's nice to be a little bit out of the loop sometimes. Mm. I've been going less on social media, I haven't been posting as much, and I've just been like having a, having a lovely time. I'm having a lovely I'm time. I'm having a lovely time. Told no, you, we don't owe McCartney any money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, yeah. I, um, I, I just think that I've got too much going on at the minute, and I'm actually usually too busy to even be looking at my phone at the minute. Yeah. Which is how I want 2020 <clears> to be. Yeah. Um. But when I asked, like, what's your opinions on putting resolutions out and stuff, a lot yeah. of people agreed with what we talked about at the beginning of the yeah. show. Saying that resolutions are temporary, goals. Goals are more Make it work. Yeah, and um, people have been saying, let them do what they want, like, if it helps them. But um, one said, Sh shouldn't take people until a new year to set one. If you want change, why wait? I like that. That's a good one. I like that, and, and that's a good a good way of doing it, because... If you do want, like, I am very proud to say that I went to the gym on Boxing Day because I was like, I'm going to make a head start to myself because I'm sick of being a whale and I want to get it done. So that's... Yeah, and you didn't bit. go, oh, well, I'll wait till January. Yeah, because that's just making just, excuses. Yeah. No excuses in 2020, okay? Mm -mm. <laughs> but yeah, loads of people have just said, like, go with it if, the, if it helps them. Um, oh, I like this one. think they're good as they present a... a Psychological fresh start and reset motivation. Oh well, I like that person. Mm. Yeah. And then like each to their own. Oh, someone's got absolute horse. Well, obviously, you know you're not setting your goals, are you? <laughs> but no, it's good. I, I like I like everybody's different opinions on it. Yeah. Some people care, some people don't. Whereas and some people are like, got... oh, it's a load of old. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap it up here. Yep. And hope everybody has set their goals. If you've set any goals, let us know what yeah. they are. We are really interested. Yeah, um, or if you've got any opinions on them, because I like people's opinions. I love it. I love like getting different opinions, different mind. types, yeah, and it helps. And me too. this show we feel like we've been a bit rusty this one because oh, yeah. we've just been a bit Absolutely. coming back into the fold, you know. Come back in the fold. Well you also give And we've also got promotion new of uh, your goal setting one more time. Oh yeah. oh yeah, so um, I will slip that in. I didn't actually promote yeah. it though, because I didn't actually say what, what like any information because I didn't really know do that. Right. Links. Okay, so file. I'll post up my link for it. Oh, it's sold out now. It's sold out. You want to come? You want to come? You can't because it's sold out. <laughs> Fifty people. Um, but yeah. Fifty pounds. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be on the twenty first of January at the florist, um, from six till eight. The florist. The florist. Yeah. It's that oh, beautiful that, is that the flory or the florist? Have you not seen it with all the flowers yeah. and everything oh, in right. there? Yeah, so, so it's gorgeous. If you're out, you can come and check it out. You can come and check out my new business, Vin Venus, which yeah. is selling. Vin Venus? Vin Venus, yeah. yeah. Vin for Vincetta, Venus because it's the goddess of love. Ooh, right. And women are from Venus. Yes. And it's going to be for women that are out of this world. So. Out of this world and the flat earth. Don't yeah. get me started. Oh, <laughs> we, want, we want to hear it as well some conspiracy, some some gritty topics that you want us to get into. Oh this yeah, year. yeah. Because ain't um, nobody holding us back in 2020. We got a lot to talk about. Yeah, and that's it from us. Thanks, Thanks. guys. Bye.